guys welcome back to a new vlog if you're new here my name is taja we do everything at lifestyle faith beauty travel career you will love it here so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below in this vlog we are out in dc there is so much going on you guys super duper exciting so grab you a drink and a snack you're gonna love it here before we jump into today's video i want to introduce the sponsor for this video this sponsorship is so on brand for me it is helping me so much with my financial goals so i've been working really hard on trying to stay on top of my expenses one of the things i feel like i've lost control over is like my monthly subscriptions there are so many and every other day there's a charge coming out i've just really been finding a way to have more control over my spending my financial goals because I do have long-term goals, like in the next two years, like purchasing a home, which is why I'm so excited to be partnering with Rocket Money because this is an app that I actually use. And when I found out about it, I was just mind blown to really see how much I was spending on subscriptions, you guys, that I don't even use. Rocket Money is a personal finance app. They help you cancel subscriptions, lower your bill, and just manage your money better. When I got my Rocket Money account set up, I was able to cancel so many unwanted subscriptions. One subscription, I had two accounts on there. So I was literally paying the double amount because I had signed up with two different emails. I don't even remember when that happened that I was able to spot with rocket money so i love how easy the app is to maneuver and very organized it gives you a big overview of like bills that are coming up out of your bank account it simplifies the process to cancel certain subscriptions and also helps you lower certain bills you guys my phone bill a lot more than i should have been paying and with rocket money i was able to lower my phone bill Rocket Money can also help you with budgeting. You can create a custom budget. They help you analyze everything and they watch your spendings. If you are exceeding that budget, it lets you know and just gives you certain solutions to stay within your budget. Rocket Money has helped save its customers up to $740 a year when they use all the features with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. To save more and spend less, join over the 5 million members using Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Taja or click the link in the description to get started for free. You can also unlock more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash Taja to get started for free. And again, thank you so much to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video and helping me stay on top of my finances. I love that for us. what's up y'all welcome welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is taja we do everything lifestyle faith beauty travel i would love to have you be a part of the family click that subscribe button down below if you're not yet subscribed already welcome to our new vlog we just made it to washington dc i am here this weekend literally from friday to sunday to attend brown girl rdh yearly conference it's happening here in dc this year i'm so honored i will be a panelist girl that alone is like what insane my second speaking engagement as well i'm just so excited i'm just really looking forward to just network meeting the girls you guys know my youtube career really started off of me sharing my dental hygiene journey if you're new here like those are the videos that really like jumpstart youtube for me um when i graduated dental hygiene school in 2017 i noticed that 
there weren't many girls that looked like me that were on social media sharing what the Nohashin school was like. So started my journey there. But when I get to do something like this, of course I'm going to say yes. This is my career field. I have so much to say about it. Brown Girl RDH is one of the pages that is just that, right? It's all about representation. It's all about making a safe space to represent people like us. So I've been rocking with them for a while, girl, like since dental hygiene school for real. So I've always kept, you know, in touch with them. And yeah, um, the CEO founder Martel, shout out to you, girl. She invited me out to DC to be a part of this. And of course I had to, I had to say, yeah, duh. We are at the Morrow Hotel. Morrow, Morrow, girl. You know me and my accents. We're at the M Hotel, okay? We're at the M Hotel. And this is where the conference is happening. This is also where like, I think everybody's staying. I'm so excited that my boo will be here as well. Harmony is on the way. <laughs> so he'll be here with me this weekend, just being like so supportive. Let me give you guys a quick tour. This hotel is really cute. It's very modern. So let's do a room tour. Okay, let's get into it. Upon entry, I love the modern touch. Of course, we've got some robes. Okay, we're gonna need one more of these robes, honey, okay? And some slippers as well. This down here, you can go ahead and unpack. There's a safe. Comment down below if you are an unpacker, but if it's less than a five day trip, I'm not really the unpacker type, but I just might unpack because I do want to hang my outfit up here that I'm going to be wearing at the conference. It is a vest, so I don't want it wrinkled up in my suitcase. To your left, look at this bathroom. Gorgeous. Stunning. This hotel reminds me of the Nobu Atlanta. At least this bathroom does. So cute. I love the touch of black and white. And this lighting. This lighting is everything. Oh, we do have two robes. Check this out. So we got a robe up here and then there's one in the entryway. Perfect. Full body mirror. We love that. Most hotels will be doing this no more. It's like, how am I supposed to see what I look like? Very cute, y'all. Oh, they got the Santal. They got the Santal 33. Come on. There we got a nice stand up shower. Mm, it smells so good in here. I smell that scent all. That's for sure. Very aesthetic. So that's the bathroom for you. Then you come back out here. Really spacious as well. And I love the touch of blue. And then over here, your mini bar, coffee station. They left some water. Look at these drawers. Ooh. We might have to pop a bottle of champagne today. Mm -hmm. We gonna see. There's also a little working desk area here. That's nice because I'm gonna be doing some editing today. They got the train station back here. I didn't even know. Mark? Hi, Mark. I was calling to check if you guys have any um, restaurants nearby or other restaurants on property open right now. Okay, do you know, are they serving food right now? Uh, yes. Oh, they are serving food? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. I decided to go for room service instead. These fries right here, 10 out of 10. So I ordered some blackened fish tacos, some fries. Oop. We got a side of ketchup, some ice cold water. And that's the vibe right now. If your man don't go to Sephora for you, is he really your man? All right, where did we go? Go you to know, go good. to Fenty um uh, Fenty, Fenty makeup. You're Fenty looking for the setting the powder. You're looking Fenty for the setting that. powder. A hair holding spray. Hair hold. Okay, found size hair holding spray. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, where can I find travel size hair holding spray? 
to have for him. It's like nobody want to help him in there, y'all. Well, this is pretty stressful. This is too stressful. Welcome to the world of a girl. Little update. I've just been resting here. It is 7.51. Okay. Bay is downstairs. He's actually about to come up. So I'm so excited. Long distance is hard, girl. We were literally talking about the fact that we haven't seen each other since he asked me to be his girlfriend. Well, isn't that something? Why am I nervous? Every time it's time to see him after like two weeks or so, I literally get the butterflies. I'm just like, oh, so exciting. We have a dinner date tonight at like 9.30, so I do have to go get my makeup done shortly. But I ordered him some room service in the meantime because like dinner is not until like another two hours and he's starving like I was. So I ordered him room service. We got some champagne. I'm about to wait for him by the door because what's taking so long? What's taking so long? I hear that suitcase to the door. I hear Yo, you two, you on low. Just I'm like on you. 19. That that border accent just came out. I love it. <laughs> so we are on our way hey, to dinner. You, you only hear it often? All the time. For real? I started getting used to it though. But sometimes, uh, sometimes when you say it, it's like it really stands out. That's so we are on the way to dinner, you guys. I'm so happy to see baby. It's been like two weeks. I was telling them like two and a half or three weeks. No, two. Two. <laughs> three to see. How do you feel like long distance is working out for us? Or should we keep that for the Q&A? Q&A. We're going to do a pipe, pipe, pipe tomorrow after the, the show. You want to do that tomorrow? Yeah, after the show because we don't have we have, we have a lot of time between the show and dinner. We don't have what we do. We do. Uh -huh. So we don't have to go nowhere. It ends at like 2 p.m. Everything, food, yeah. And then go chill at a spot and do it while we're eating. How did everybody that's wants to know question. how we met? That's number one. I think that, that's all they care about. I think before they get into anything else, it's like, that's how did this about. happen? That's all they care about. So, how we met was. No. I'm not saying, I'm just joking. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned because we have a very special video coming up. But yeah, um, see you at dinner. <laughs> Let me get you. Yo, where's the flower? I'm gonna do 0.5. Oh. Um, y'all, yeah. Harmony ate this in three seconds. The sauce is still hot, babe. Hey. <laughs> So good morning, you guys. It's conference day. Today's the big day. The big dizzle. 
And um, I'm about to start on my makeup. And the topic discussion will be dating and dentistry. Now, let me say this. When I first read that, I was like, dating and dentistry? What are we talking about? <laughs> it's actually talking about how to shop for offices, like how to date offices, how to know which office um, that you want to be a part of. So I like that concept. It's pretty cool. But all right, I'll see y'all in a bit. Like, they need somebody so desperately. It's like, here are all those benefits. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like a red flag for me. 
Okay. So I probably wouldn't. You, when you understand your worth, and you understand that that doctor values you, you'll feel a sense of fulfillment if that's the right practice mm -hmm. for you. Right? So, understanding the vision of the practice, the value placed in patient service, and the value that's placed on the hygienist. Um, the next thing that you want to walk away is your view. How did you view that practice? So you went on that first date. Are you going to go on a second date? Am I going to commit? Am I going to want to see this guy again? Is there any chemistry? Remember we talked about the different phases of dating. Chemistry is when you get excited. Are you excited about the possibility of what this practice can be? If there's no excitement, you already are fulfilled. We're looking again for fulfillment. My deal breaker when working with an office is, is where you're talking about now, lack of communication and, and, and just that lack of a foundation on communication, you know, because communication is key. So if you don't know how to talk to me and I don't know how to talk with you, then... Hey. <laughs> What's your deal breaker, hon? My deal breaker has to be my phone management. Yes. Yes. you have, I feel like some dentist or other dental professional in the office, they want to micromanage everything that you do and tell you how to treat your patients, mm -hmm. what to do, what not to do, and also like pu like pushing um, production. Production. Over pushing production. It's like yeah. you, you're almost recommending things that your patient does not need. Mm -hmm. Like I, for example, I've had um, an appointment before the, the doctor came in for the exam and she changed some of the carrier numbers. And she was like, how did she feel fives and not four? She's showing this patient needs SRP. Yeah, you five. She's on that book on two How do you know that he's going to fire you? Like, you are his only girl. You're going to open your mouth. This hygienist now makes $65 an hour, you know? And it's, so, it's just, you don't, you can't get fed if you don't ask for food. You know what I mean? Like, nobody knows you're hungry. They can hear your stomach growling. But if I got a million other things going on, like, it's a lot of noise. Your stomach growling ain't my problem. You know what I mean? You know, you got to tell me your stomach growling so I can go in here and make you something to eat. You know, and it's just, it's a really a matter of us, like, advocating for yourself. I don't care about, like, I know we're black people. But let's drop it, okay? Let's just drop the whole, we're black, we're, we're a woman, we got to do this. We all the serious, Drop all of it and say, I'm a human first, okay? The person that I'm talking to is a human, okay? Like, they have a family just like I got a family. When I'm talking to these doctors, they're no better than me. I can talk to, to Jeff Bezos, and he'll be no better than me, you know what I mean? So it, it's, 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 we're human, and so we have to drop all of the stereotypes and all of the facades when we're talking to people, and we're advocating for ourselves. Where every stereotype you got, it don't matter. Is that stereotype going to pay your bills, or are you opening your mouth going to pay your bills? You know what I'm saying? Your biggest blessings are on the other side of your greatest fears, and you can't get to them if you don't do anything, okay? Like, the valley of the shadow of death, okay? You, you got to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. You know what I'm saying? I told you. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil. No. So if I am walking in my purpose and I'm demanding what I want to get to where I need, I'm not worried about what's in the valley because I'm already on my own. <laughs> Just walk in your purpose, y'all. Absolutely. Walk in your purpose and use your voice. Yeah. I just wanted to go back to knowing your worth. Yeah. I did not realize until I was at this office I'm at now that I'm also a provider. Yeah. Just like the doctor is. Right. So. I don't know if a lot of people in here know that. You know, I just wanted to bring that to everybody's attention. Look at your name and said, you are a provider. You are a provider. I'm allowed them to introduce themselves and tell, them their and tell them your perspective on dating and dentistry. That would be a nice way to kind of segue into everything else.
Awesome. Good uh, morning, everyone. I am Dr. Kedra Bell. Um, I'm a COVID class grad as well. So I, I went to school at East Carolina University, um, and then I did residency in Atlanta, Georgia at Grady Hospital. Um, and now I practice in Raleigh, North Carolina, um, dating in the industry. So um, I think the, the biggest thing that I've noticed is that your expectations and what you're looking for is going to change as you progress in your career. Um, I, I think a lot of the times when we go into offices or I, I see people, they go into these offices and they water themselves down trying to get the job. But what you do is again, you go in very out the field. Like, your tea and tea, right? Yeah, you like sweet tea and, and maybe you water down tea. That's, that's not what you order. Hi everyone, my name is Naja. I'm originally born and raised in Haiti. When I was 17 years old. Haiti in the building. When I was 17, I moved to the States, me and my mom, and I pursued mental hygiene. Right after high school, I went to school in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, most challenging dental hygiene program, I feel like it was so hard. A lot of PT PTSD from that. But um, when I graduated dental hygiene school, I started um, social media because I noticed that there weren't a lot of representation online of dental professionals that look like us. So I got on YouTube, started recording, and I was like, this is how I became a dental hygienist. And so a lot of girls kind of related to that and got inspired to pursue that themselves. Because I remember from school, my advisor told me, I think this will be too competitive for you. So already they were starting to plant a seed like that you can't do it. So, um, and you know, this is a full circle moment being here because I was following Brown Girl RDH since dental hygiene school. I, I felt like this was a good representation for us brown girls, brown guys that um, there's not many of us in this field, so we really have to support each other. So, um, so yeah, uh, when I left there in North Carolina, I moved to Atlanta about three years ago, and my social media started growing, so I decided to quit like hygiene full-time, and I started temping, which was the best decision I could have made, y'all, like, yeah. ever. No so, commitment, just date. Literally. So, <laughs> speaking of, I'm truly in the dating scene in dentistry right now, and you learn so much when you're temping, you also learn not to settle. Yeah, because I, I'm going to tell you guys, if you're in a full-time office and you're unhappy, whether that's from asking for a raise or you're not being heard, just know that they can bend the rules, they can change things, they just don't want to. Mm -hmm. Dating in the industry, I think everybody kind of covered the point, do not settle, um, know what you want, and also just know that when you go into an office for an interview, you're also interviewing them. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, yes. so it's not about just answering the questions, ask those questions too, and just make sure that those are this is a good fit for you. And if it's time to move on, it's time to move on. Like, I think this is a good field. Like, we can find a job any day, any career. Like, it's, this is a blessing. Truly. Absolutely. So, so, I love that. Yeah. And I wanted to, like, continue with the interview process being a two-way stream. Mm -hmm. So, they're checking out to see if you're a good candidate. And you're checking to see if you're compatible. If y'all knew what I have seen over this last six yeah. months with these high yeah. too coming in our office, yeah. everyone, one is... Outside of them, everyone, you know, we know everyone goes to school. Um, we know that everyone has qualifications to meet, but everyone does not care for patients in the same way. Um, everyone does not have the same standard of care. Everyone does not carry their, their selves with morals and standards. So, unfortunately, um, you all have a skill set that is an asset and you are needed. So, so make those. Hygiene, right? Yes, make those. So, you got good hygiene. Sure. You got good friends and you got. Yeah, so, 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 think about the business owner, too. Now, they have to look at me like, uh, so you're saying, I'm not saying I'm just going to use you for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might be terrible, but he wanted to charge me seventy five an hour. And you have made a decision. However, right. you all have to see. Right. You, you right. But we have that both sides. That's what I'm saying. We have to look at both sides. Saying. We're saying let's stop and we're going to leave and we're all going to power right. out. I'm with that. So, but let's be honest too. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So he has a valuable point. Well, well, the, the message that we're trying to get here, or that I presented to give to you guys, is not necessarily for you to just storm out of the office right. just because. Right. It's more. To understand your value and understand that you want to be fulfilled at whatever work that you do. Whatever position, it may not even be a hygienist, it could be a business owner. You're a business owner, you want to be fulfilled in that position, whatever it is. If you're not finding that fulfillment, 
it's okay to move on. And that's, that's the point. That's true. Yeah, that's the point. Y'all can jump me later. Jump me now. We're not here just for the appearance. I hope the credibility has built up over the past few years. Perfect. Okay, so a lot going on. Let me brief you guys in on where we left off. So after my panel, we had lunch. I got to mingle with the girls, network with the girls, meet so many like dental peers. Hearing like how some of my videos have helped the girls and the girls that's been watching me. First of all, if you were at the Brown Girl Conference, we met, we got to Kiki and you're watching this vlog. Hey girl, hey. Y'all made my day. This was so amazing. And yeah, I wasn't nervous at all. Like when I first started speaking, my voice was a little shaky, but girl, I loved how this conference was done. It was more like a panel discussion. So it just really felt like we were like, just talking to each other, you know, and how to involve the crowd in the conversation. So I wasn't nervous at all, but it was great. My portion is done. We stayed in for another um, like segment and now we are about to go downstairs and take some pictures and change and just go do our thing. Um, are we doing a museum this afternoon or something? What? We might do a museum. We might just hang out, you know? But I love it here, DC. I've had such a good time. And oh my God, I love it here. I love you guys so much. Till next time. <laughs> just say the outfit ate today, but them shoes, they hurt like heck. Where are we going, babe? I don't know. Right now, we're about to go get some, uh, some ice cream, some gelati, you feel me? He always talks about this one spot. Is it from the spot you be talking about? Not Rita's. Rita's not here. Not Rita's? But it's similar? I don't know. I've only had gelati from Rita's. <laughs> So we are going to check out this place called Fat Fish. They have ice cream, food. I kind of want a little bit of both. <laughs> Not for real though. We can sit outside. Like there's outdoor seating. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, so we just... Go ahead. Life of a vlogger. No, go. There are so many people here. I'm just like, uh... We were like the only ones on this trip when we, when we came here last yeah. time. They probably can't even hear me, but oh, we're out here in D.C. It's so busy. Basically, this is a strip full of restaurants and um, you can bar hop, restaurant hop, bar hop, place hop. Let me show y'all around. What's this? Is this a concert? Oh, yeah, this, this is like a arena. Looks good, though. Nah, this looks good, y'all. It is good. It looks good. Uh, this is good. No, babe, let's be for real. This is not that good. Try this? Okay, I'll try yours. I like it. I like thin crust. Mm. Now, is this the best pizza I've No. You're a, you're a thin crust person. Mm.
between you and him. Watch the next word. Alone. If he listens to you, or if she listens to you, you have gained your brother. Family, right here in this text, we have the wisdom of Jesus giving us, watch, a model for healthy conflict resolution. You have too many believers who think because we are born again and filled with the Holy Spirit, you can actually survive community without ever getting hurt by another brother or sister. So we put unrealistic expectations upon the church, and we think that if I go to a church, I should never get hurt in that church. So as soon as you get hurt, you put on your sneakers and you bail. We are heading out, DC. Heading out. Adios to tomorrow. <laughs> this was a really nice hotel. Yes. Probably my favorite hotel I've stayed at in DC so far. For sure. Okay, because I've only stayed at like two? Three? This is my third oh, one. Oh, okay, it's your third time here. Yeah. But this is my fourth. Out of all the hotels I've stayed at in DC so far, this is my favorite one. Tomorrow is really nice, really clean. They have that Centaur 33 all over the the room in the shower it smells so good it's very clean they have room service they have a nice rooftop um rooftop bar go ahead baby we got a ray of sunshine sitting next to me what's good vlog okay happy sunday dc happy sunday i like the yellow she like yellow you look nice it's giving like bumblebee giving bumblebee <laughs> but yeah i'm about to go eat man one thing about dc i'm gonna tell y'all this DC's food is a hit or miss. You just gotta know the right spots. Literally. I think they have a lot of great food, but you just gotta know where. I'm just, I'm just waiting for that. <laughs> Hopefully, this is gonna be it. Cause Hopefully. I haven't really found like the spot here yet. But this spot sounds promising, so we're about to see. I'll let y'all know. It's time to go, y'all. Go. Town to go. That's the reality of. Long Do you like long distance? Uh, long, love hate relationship. It's love hate, yeah. Yeah. Hate it more than love it, but. <laughs> I hate it more than love it. It's been real. It gives us something to look forward to, and like we can get our stuff done. Sure. Hey, baby. Give me kiss, friend. Bye, friend. How dare you? <laughs> All right, vlog. I'm going to see y'all in Miami. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.